Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. I'm Jason and this is Lesney's Matchbox 11D Mercedes Scaffolding Truck. It was produced from 1969 and converted to the Superfast range in 1970, where it lasted until 1972. All versions came in silver, had a red base plate that housed the front axle and incorporated the grille. They also had a green tinted window unit and decals on either side that read Builders Supply Company. For added play value, yellow scaffolding was supplied with the model that fitted in the compartment, as seen here on a mint regular wheels example. Here's the Mercedes-Benz T2 that the model is based on. The base is held in place by the grille and a stumpy rivet post in the middle. The window piece is also held secure by a shallow rivet which I remove with my modified drill bit. I'm removing the red plastic base now, so you can see the overpaint of silver on the plastic. A previous owner has also covered some of the wheels in paint, but it's difficult to tell how much of the body has been affected. Out comes the windscreen that I drilled out, again a victim of rogue paint. The next step is to remove the axle burrs to free the wheels. That then gives me all the parts for my overhead shot. I'll use some Dettol antiseptic liquid to loosen the paint from the plastic parts now. It doesn't take too long for it to shift, I find it's usually done in around 30 minutes. And now to bathe the metal casting in caustic soda to remove its paint. The casting is based on Mercedes-Benz's T2 light commercial vehicle. It was launched in 1967 as a replacement for the L319. The first generation T2 was in production until 1986 and was available as either a panelled or glazed van or a full minibus. In addition, it had the option of being single or double cab with drop side, dumper, box, insulated, freezer or just the plain old chassis available for purchase. As well as being a popular parcel van, it was frequently used by the emergency services, the military and in construction. Almost half a million first generation T2s were produced during its 19 year production span. The second generation T2 continued until 1996 when the T2 was replaced by the Vario, which was essentially a facelifted T2. This was manufactured through until 2013. Another considered a replacement for the T2 was the 1995 Sprinter, which was a light commercial vehicle as opposed to the Vario, which was more of a heavy commercial. Anyway, back to the build, and you'll note the paint isn't flaking away from the parts, more smearing. So I give them a wash, and sure enough the paint rinses away. So on this build, I've needed to obtain replacement decals for the sides of the truck and I decided to also get a set of reproduction scaffolding pieces to really complement the model. I'll leave a link to model supplies in the description below where I purchased the parts. I did try to construct the yellow scaffolding tower and place it on my turntable at the end of the video, but the 3D printed parts were just too flimsy to stay upright when accompanied by the revolving motion. The casting gets a coat of Tamiya TS30 silver leaf over the light grey primer. It's still wet, but this silver leaf really looks the part after a single coat. The coverage is even and actually managed to get into the deep corners of the rear compartment. After the wheels have been reattached to the axles, the ends are spruced up with Molotow Chrome. So here are my reproduction decals, which took me by surprise as they are actually stickers. There's less room for error with stickers, but it's a far quicker job. The sticker quality is excellent. They are crisp, clear and actually quite tactile with a rough texture, but the standard is superb. I also like how the Builders Supply Company is the same branding as the 1958 60A Morris J2 pickup, a nice touch by Lesney. But now it is time to reassemble simply by slotting in my cleaned green transparency that secures over the remains of the ground down rivet, while the base section slots in via the grille first, 
and then the back is pushed down. And that's that, so let's remind ourselves how the 11D Mercedes scaffolding truck looked to begin with. It had additional silver paint rather crudely strewn across the grill, wheels and a bit of the windshield. It was missing its branding from the sides of the rear compartment and the scaffolding itself was also missing, naturally. Silver castings never really appear quite as bad when they are play worn since the exposed bare metal blends in. That silver hobby paint is a dead giveaway that this has been well played with, but this is it in its restored glory. The silver overpaint has been successfully removed from plastic components, leaving a nice clear windscreen and grille. The decals on the side totally transform the rear compartment, while each individual slat is more visible and noticeable in a fresh, even coat of TS30. In the back here are my reproduction scaffolding parts, which can be connected to create a scaffolding tower, just not very successfully displayed on a rotating turntable mind. Finally, the wheels have all had any silver paint removed and treated to a gloss coat of Citadel. Now that's all from me for today. Thanks to my subscribers and Patreon members for supporting the channel. You can too by hitting the subscribe button and visiting my Patreon page. Links are at the end of the video. Don't forget to like and comment, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.